Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time I'm doing it on Cambridge Primary Checkpoint for Mathematics Paper 1, April 2019. Now, if there's not allowed, let's start. Question 1. Sophia asked some people to choose their favorite sport. The pictogram shows the results. Sport and the number of pictures or the number of people. Football, four smileys. Basketball, two smileys. Running, one and a half. Swimming is not given. One smiley equals four people. A. How many people chose basketball? So it's two smileys and one equals four people. So two into four, which is equal to eight. B. Ten people chose swimming. Complete the pictogram. Ten people, if we divide by four, we get two and a half smileys. Right? So we just draw one, two, and a half like that. That's the answer. Question two, complete the following calculation. 34 plus dash equals 100. Bring 34 to the other side, 100 minus 34 equals 66. And that's our answer, 66. Three, complete these calculations. 363 into 10, 3630. 64,000 divided by 100, 640. Question four, which number is 600 more than 1809? That means it's 1809 plus 600, which is equal to 2,409. That's the answer. Question 5. Two of these drawings are nets for a triangular prism. Draw a ring around them. So let's look at this drawing. This cannot be a net for a triangular prism since there's no triangle to cover the other side. One side will have two triangles. These will overlap. The second one over here, we can visualize that this triangle will have edges which connect with all three of these edges. And then this triangle will connect with this edge and this two here, because this one will be folded twice, this triangle over here. So this is one of the nets. And this one also is a net because this triangle is connected to all three edges here. And this triangle when folded will connect it to this one and this one, if you visualize it. The main thing to do here is just visualizing how it look if it's folded. This one will not be a triangular prism since this rectangle has connected edges with two other rectangles which cannot form a triangular prism. The edges which are connected are wrong. It's the short edge, supposed to be the long edge. That's the answer. Question six, complete the calculation. Nine one three minus dash eight dash equals three dash seven. We can write this in a traditional format of subtracting like that. We have three blanks over there. Now three minus something, we have to get seven, right? So we will get a borrow from one or the tenths place, which is one here. And that means 13 minus something is equal to seven. That something will be six, right? So this digit is six. Next, we can see that because this borrow will be become zero, this will become 13, 13 minus six, seven. Now, 0 minus 8, we borrow from here. That will be 10 here. 10 minus 8 will be 2. And we have 8 over here because we borrow to get 10 there, remember? So, 8 minus something is 3. So, that will be 5 here. So, 9 minus 3 minus 5, 86 equals 3, 2, 7. If you want to, you can also actually subtract it. You know, right now, it will become 3, 27. So we are correct. That's the answer. Question seven, write the missing number in the box. Dash right angles equals one whole turn. One whole turns 360 degrees, right angle is 90 degrees. So we do four into 90 degrees, we get 360, so it's four right angles. Question eight, Jamila thinks of a three digit number. The sum of the digits is eight. The number is a multiple of five, but not multiple of 10. Write two different numbers that Jamila could be thinking of. So if it's a multiple of five, but not multiple of 10, the digits must end in five. So we write the five as the units place. And since the sum of all three digits is eight, the sum of two digits, these two must be three, because only then if we add all three, we get eight. So we can put, for example, one, two, five, or two, one, five. They all have a sum of eight, and they're multiples of five, but not multiples of 10. Also, they're three digit numbers. That's the answer. Question nine. Complete the number sequence. Dash plus 17, 15, that'd be minus two here. Plus 17, we get 32. Plus 17, we get 49. 
and plus 17 is correct, we get 66. That's the answer. Question 10. A lorry and a car leave a garage at the same time and travel in the same direction. The lorry travels 28.6 kilometers in one hour. The car travels 45.4 kilometers in one hour. How far apart are the two vehicles after one hour? So the car travels 45.4 kilometers, the lorry travels 28.6. How far apart are they? We just subtract. 45.4, 28.6. Subtract. You can take a carry over here, 40 minus 6, 8. Take another carry over, 40 minus 8, 6, and 3 minus 2, 1. So the answer is 16.8 kilometers. That's the answer. Question 11. At midday, the temperature in Warsaw is 5 degrees Celsius. At midnight, the temperature is 8 degrees Celsius colder. What's the temperature at midnight? That's just subtraction, 5 minus 8, which is equal to minus 3 degrees Celsius. That's the answer. Question 12. Write these numbers in the Cabo diagram. One has been done for you. So not multiples of 5 and square numbers is 16. Now for 20. It is a multiple of 5, but it's not a square number. So it comes over here. 25. It's a multiple of 5, and it is a square number because 5 squared equals 25. So it comes here. Now 27 is not a square number, and it's not multiple of 5, so we can put it here. 30 is not a square number, but it's multiple of 5, because 6 into 5 is 30, so you can put 30 there. And 36 is not a multiple of 5, and it is a square number though, so it's placed over here. That's the answer. Question 13. Here's one side of a quadrilateral row drawn on a coordinate grid. A. Plot the third vertex at 4,5. So 4,5 is going to be x is 4, y is 5, it's here. That's the answer. B. The shape is a trapezium with one line of symmetry. Which point completes the shape? This shape is a trapezium, right? So imagining we just connect these two points here. First of all, I just label this as 4,5 for A. And assuming we draw a line, we need to make a trapezium. If we tilt it diagonally, we can see that this is the base over here and this is one side. If you make another side over here and we connect it, it's a trapezium and it has one line of symmetry, which is this diagonal line over here. So the point which connects it is 6, 3. I'll just show you the trapezium just a minute. Yeah, so there's the trapezium and these two sides are equal length. It's isosceles trapezium. That's why it has one line of symmetry. So the point is 6, 3. That's the answer. Question 14. Pens are sold in boxes of 30. A school buys 60 boxes. How many pens does the school buy? That's simply 60 boxes into 30 pens per box. That'll be equal to 1,800 pens. That's the answer. Question 15. Here's a number fact. 350 plus 460 equals 810. Use this fact to complete the following. 810 minus dash equals 350. If we bring 460 to the other side, 810 minus 460. So the number is 460 there. 8.1 minus 4.6 equals dash. If we divide this by 100, divide this by 100, we'll get the answer, right? Or this calculation. And this one, divide by 100, is actually our answer 3.5. 0 0.46 plus dash equals 0 0.81. That's simply 0 0.35 using the same reason as the previous one. This one and this one, similar calculations. That's the answer. Question 16. A train journey starts at 624 and ends at 2116 on the same day in 24 hour time. How long is the journey? Give the answer in hours and minutes. So we just subtract 2116, 624. Over here, we just borrow from here. 20 it comes, 76. Now it becomes 52 here, and 2006, that's 14. 14 hours and 52 minutes. That's the answer. Question 17. A. Write in figures the number that's 10 more than 200,000. That would be simply 200,000 plus 10, because 10 more, that's 200,010. That's the answer. B. Write in figures the number that is 100 less than 1 million. That'll be a million, one followed by six zeros, 
minus 101 followed by two zeros, that will be equal to 999900. Or 999900. That's the answer. Let's go to question 18. Question 18. Fill in the missing numbers. A. 15 into 12 equals dash into 3 into 15. We can cancel the 15s. 12 equals dash into 3. 4. 15 into 12 equals 5 into 4 into dash into 3. 15 is equal to 5 into 3, right? So we can cancel all three of these. 12 equals 4 into dash. This dash is 3. That's the answer. Question 19. Join each mixed number to the correct place on the number line. First one's been done for you. Y and a half is here. Four and a half will be joined over here. Three and by four or three and a quarter will be over here. And one seven by eight will be all the way over here, right in the middle of one three by four and two. That's the answer. Question 20. Here's a triangle. Calculate the size of the angle at eight. So that will be 180 minus 90 minus 37, since angles in a triangle add up to 180. That will be equal to 53 degrees. That's the answer. Question 21. By a digit in each box to make these calculations correct. 6.2 plus dash point dash equals 10. If we add 3.8, we get 10, so 3.8 is the answer. 10 minus dash point 3 equals 4 point dash. So anything point 3, you will subtract from 10 you'll get something 0.7 right because we need the decimal to be zero and 3 plus 7 equals zero and 3 plus 7 gives 10 so in this case 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7 1 1.0 which means decimal is zero now for the units digit that will be five since this addition will carry over one so that'll be one plus four plus something which is equal to 10 and that means 5 plus something is equal to 10, so that something is 5. 7 point dash plus dash point 4 equals 10. Same way, we have to make the decimal places become 0, so that will be 7.6. And if we add up these, 7.6, if this is 0, that means it will become 8. So we need to add another 2 more, and that 2 will come here. Question 22. Here are graphs to show the average temperature and rainfall in Beijing. A. In which months of the year is the average temperature higher than 30 degrees Celsius? So that means higher than 30 over here, which is these three months. That will be drawing a straight line down June, July, and August. So we can write that. June, July, August. That's the answer. B. Pierre wants to go to Beijing on holiday. He wants the temperature to be between 20 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius. He also wants the least amount of rain. In which month should he go to Beijing? In which month should he go to Beijing? So there are four months in between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius, which are these four. And if we draw lines down, it's April, May, and then we have September and October. So we check April, May, September, October in the rainfall, the lowest rainfall out of these four is in April. So he has to go in April since he wants the least rainfall. The temperature in April is usually 21 degrees Celsius, which is okay for him because he needs 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. That's the answer. Question 23. Here's a parallelogram drawn on squared paper. Use the squares to estimate the area of the shape. So to estimate the area, we can actually do a nice little trick. If we cut off this length, which is the length of the vertex, from the vertex down in vertical line, this triangle can be moved and placed over here to form a more regular shape. So if we cut off this area and we bring it here like that, the shape form will be a 5 by 5 square. So 5 into 5 will be equal to 25 squares. So we can estimate it to be 25 squares. We can also just count on average because we can count more than half as one square and less than half as does not count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
if you count those only, which are more than half a square. This is just an estimate, so 25 is the answer. Question 24. Join the calculation to the correct answer. 32 divided by 5. That will be 6, 2 by 5. Converting to a fraction, that will be equal to 6.4 as a decimal. So you can draw a line here. This is the answer. Question 25. Draw a ring around the net which makes a cube. Actually, this net, this net, this net, and this net don't make a cube. These two do not have six faces. This one, these two cubes will overlap on each other. This one, these two cubes will overlap on each other. Only this one actually makes a cube. Since these two will be the side faces, these two can be top and bottom, these two can be front and back. So we can draw a ring around this one. That's the answer. Question 26, draw the reflection of the shape in the mirror line. So first we just reflect all the points. This one comes here like that this one comes here like that and we do that for every single point I'll just do it real quick and these are the points now we simply have to connect the dots just like this remember to connect it in the same way that is connected in the actual shape given just a minute this line is curved I'll just change that all of them have to be straight lines that's the answer. Question 27. Blessie has some cherries. She eats one four of the cherries and she has 18 left. How many cherries did she have at the beginning? So this amount is 1 minus 1 by 4, which is equal to 3 fourth of the total. Right? So 18 is equal to 3 by 4 of x, where x is the total. And now x will be equal to 18 into... 4 by 3, which is equal to cancel, we get 6. 6 into 4 is 24. That's the answer. Question 28. Rajiv drives from Calais to Paris. He travels 185 miles. 5 miles is approximately 8 kilometers. Find how far he travels in kilometers. So 5 miles is equal to 8 kilometers. That means 1 mile is equal to 8 by 5 kilometers and 185 miles will be equal to 8 by 5 into 185 which is equal to we cancel we get 37 8 into 37 will be 296 kilometers that's the answer question 29 here are 10 euro coins in a straight line estimate how many coins are needed to make a straight line that measures one kilometer 10 euro coins measure 23.25 centimeters. So we ring around the best estimate. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters, which is 100,000 centimeters, right? This one can be written as approximately 25 centimeters, right? Correct the nearest five. And if we do 100,000 divided by 25, I'll just do that. If we divide by 25, that will be equal to 4,000 rows. And 4,000 rows of coins, which means 4,000 groups of 10 coins. That will be equal to 40,000 coins. This is an estimate, of course. And we can circle 40,000 here. That's the answer. With that, I come to the end of the paper. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. With that, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.